Welcome to Goldfield Ghost Town. My name's Habiba and this is Trekking Pals. Today we are going more than 100 years back in time, before Arizona was a state and back when the Southwest was wild. I mean, real wild. Akilah, you put your guns on the ground, you're under arrest. The town of Goldfield was founded in 1893 after the discovery of gold in the surrounding area of the Superstition Mountains. The town was founded next to the Superstition Mountains in what was then the Arizona Territory. The town reached a population of about 4,000 residents, but when the mine vein faulted in 1897, the grade of ore dropped leaving the miners without a job. The town began to suffer since its economy depended heavily on mining. It was not long before the rest of the town's residents were relocated and left Goldfield a ghost town. The land was then purchased by a private investor and is now a great tourist attraction. Goldfield Ghost Town is free to visit and there are a lot of fun activities for visitors to enjoy. First, we will gather in the main street to watch a show of gunfighters. This show is free and takes place every Saturday and Sunday. Let's check it out. Okay, whiskey. You boys get out of here right now. Killer, you put your guns on the ground, you're under arrest. Oh, I'm under arrest. All right, I'll take this time for you for that. There are interesting buildings to check out. Some of them were renovated and some of them were rebuilt. There's a saloon, a jail, a bank, a church, places to eat and enjoy the view of the Superstition Mountains and a lot more. Our next stop today is the mine tour. Mining was the beaten heart of the town and understanding the operations of the mine, how miners went about their daily activities was very eye-opening. The tickets for the mine tours are $10 per person and the tour lasts for about 20 minutes. And here is a sneak peek. This is what they're going for right here. This is a horseshoe shape pattern right here. There is 21 holes. Uh, each one of these holes goes seven feet deep. Each one of them will hold up to 10 sticks of dynamite. So we're talking 200 sticks of dynamite right here. Now, there is 21 fuses and somebody's gotta light them. I told you it's dark in here, so somebody's coming in the dark with a candle, gotta light 21 fuses. When he lights the first fuse, they're all gonna, it's gonna start going off in 30 seconds. So. He's got to be a little short, fast guy that can see in the dark almost. But he comes in, lights 21 fuses, takes off running, and uh, blows up. All the rock falls out here in the middle of this tunnel. So they let the dust settle. They come back, pick this rock up, and throw it into that cart over there. That's an ore cart. Uh, that'll hold like a ton of rock. Now that was on rails. So when they fill that up, they would just push it right through the tunnel down here. And on the other side of that tunnel is the main shaft of the mine. They hauled it all back up and uh, put it in crushers up on top. They'd crush that rock and then they would sift through it and get the gold. And that's how every bit of it got out of here. It seems like a long drawn out process, but that's how they made the money. Right there. That don't seem like much light to work in with all that stuff they were doing, but it was. They would set it on a rock over here and they would work on the far wall. Now that far wall over there, I mean, I can see it, but not good enough to sling a sledgehammer, but I can see it. It's like 12 feet over there. And back then it was only four feet. So probably wasn't nothing for a miner to do that. Now, 
I told you they did a lot of their stuff in the dark. These guys ate in the dark. This guy sat in the dark all day long as honey dipper. He didn't want to see nothing, so he didn't. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in the dark. This is how they did their breaks and lunches. That right there. We are ending the day today with a train ride around the town to get a closer look of the mountains, the cacti, the troyas, and to enjoy a lovely sunset. Right now, we are about to check the train rides that they have going on here. Each one of them is 20 minutes long and the tickets are $10 per person. We really don't know what to expect, but we are very excited. Let's go! There are plenty of other activities to enjoy like the zipline, horseback riding, the mystery shack, or the shooting range. By the way, can you believe that there are at least 300 ghost towns in Arizona alone? Do you have a favorite one? Let us know in a comment and if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We're Trekking Pals, Habiba and Alex. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon on a new adventure.